yeah, yeah. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Who missed me? <laughs> Guys. So we're back to YouTube. I'm sorry for just leaving like that without saying anything. So sorry. Um, I had a lot of um assignments and I just like let me just concentrate and get my head off this YouTube for a while and then come back refreshed. So I'm back refreshed. <laughs> but even at that, I thank everyone that like DM me and chatted me. My Instagram has been busy, like everyone i tried to reply everybody thanks to everyone that tried to reach out to me I'm like all right are you fine we've not heard from you <laughs> i'm like thank you like you guys i'm grateful so today i said we can carry my face come back oh i miss my family i miss my family so much you guys I'm refreshed, like you can see, I'm really refreshed. <laughs> we can all laugh in this, this, this YouTube. Do you get? Let me know, laugh and just waste your time. Anyway, I don't really like dragging my videos, I just like to get down to the business of the day. So, because I know anybody that is coming here is coming for the content, just watch what you want to watch, get information you want to get, and move on. So let's start. Today I want to talk about bills, yeah? Bills, 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 bills. The UK bills. <laughs> they are very real. Okay. So I'll be looking down because I jotted down a little thing so that I don't forget. If I even forget, if you meet me for comment section, talk about that, we will discuss that for dear. But the bills are real and I've made some mistakes of which I don't want my subscribers to make. I want you guys to enjoy this thing. Anywhere so far, I'm not going to go so far. I mean, she's just seeing like... You learn from people's mistakes so i want some people to also learn from my mistakes so that you don't repeat the mistakes some of us did because we didn't have information and this channel is about helping people so that they don't make mistakes and so that they can get information about having an easier life in the uk or moving to the uk so because i know a lot of my subscribers are on their way coming so this video will be very helpful to you guys now starting with bills in the uk the number one I'm going to talk about, I'll talk about electricity, gas, and water for me. Okay, so when you rent a property, let me say you just move in and then you're not using student accommodation that maybe it's agent and all that. So this one you rent, you have a family, maybe you're a student with a family, even a single student that decides to just rent a private property and just live alone. You need to know all this, you need to register with and um, with a with a billing company let me see gas electricity and water sometimes they are together see me a lot of people have told me they've not paid water i mean too i've never paid water i've never gotten bills for water i don't know if it's together with electricity but me i'm using british gas and when i came into the house i registered that same day i registered with british gas i told them i had rented this property and this and then they gave me an option i think they asked me for direct debit and that was before the new increment you know there's this increment that came up in april so had i moved into the house february and then so they asked me and they said do i want to be using prepaid so prepaid you just load the card and then they will be debiting it and then they asked me if i wanted direct debit and i said i wanted because when they gave me the option like, okay let me go for direct debit so both gas and electricity i'm paying 122 which is fine in a month so they said after six months they will verify and see if i'm undercharged they will increase it and if i'm overcharged they are going to increase it but for now my gas and electricity is 122 pounds every month which is fair yeah which is fair <laughs> then we're moving ahead to food you need to eat and the truth is that the food here is very cheap is really really very very cheap so with 50 pounds see if you are alone say 30 pounds if you buy food but the african food can be very expensive like you could buy one two bar of yam when you convert it one two bar of yam for maybe i think it's four pounds then 
you can get one big one for five pounds that's like three five for one year now the annoying thing is that i had bought a spinach <laughs> i wanted to even do video about that spinach that this spinach was so um the thing pay me <laughs> you know this vegetable effort f f f or waiting that they call up this euro <laughs> i'm a outside girl so i don't really know how to pronounce it but this small vegetable i bought was two pounds <laughs> hey god after making the vegetable, I, I looked at it when I put it inside hot water. I was like, Me, if it's not UK, will I buy this vegetable like this in Nigeria for three, five, three, five, one small bunch? No, one five, then because when you save maybe seven, seven fifty exchange rate, so two pounds is one five. Really, one small bunch that is no more than hundred naira. Even <laughs> that was what I bought, and I bought two bunch like. That's three thousand. There are the two. The two cell was not enough to make the food like that. We we'll just manage it for the soup. Two bunch. Okay. So there are some things that are really very expensive, like aggressive crayfish and So I will advise you if you are coming, pack your plenty Nigerian food. Dry pepper if you can. Pound your pepper very so that even when you don't buy, because scotch bonnet, yeah, what we call atango scotch bonnet, they're very expensive. A kilo is about eleven pounds or twelve pounds, so you don't want to be buying that. Like me, what I always advise people: you are just coming, you are not making the pounds. Save all your money. Bring all the things that can save you buying things with pounds. Do you get if it makes sense like that? So, but like milk. Like milo too expensive for here, so maybe you'll be taking tea. Uh, yeah, it's around ten pounds or so. So, milk, bon vita, and all that they can be expensive, but then they are, they are they have a lot of beverages that you can substitute that one for here. You know. Then again, so let me just say there about seventy pounds will be okay for your groceries. Then you have um TV licensing. Now, TV licensing is not a must. It's when you want to watch live TV, like BBC and them. And I think subscription for BBC is BBC. Then is not one channel. Like you have a lo whole lot of channels on BBC. So BBC, you can watch football and other stuff on it. Someone said it's about one fifty he pays for a year. So it's about maybe twelve, thirteen pounds per month. I'm not sure, and they can like separate it so you don't have to pay all at once which is fair but i have not done that so all we watch we are good with internet if you're using internet tv so you have all those channels internet channels so you don't have to do subscription all you need to once you have your internet access to internet you watch youtube you watch netflix you watch prime tv now prime tv did you see part of it is let me give you the expo now students with your student uh, number with your student login for school login you register on prime and you get six months guys you're going to get six months free amazon so when you come with your family just use that your email your school email and register on prime and use it and log into it with your tv so you get to watch six months so i'm still watching my free tv for my prime after six months it's going to expire then i can start paying and even when you are paying you're not going to be paying full you're going to be paying half the rate so let me say if it's 12 pounds as a student you'll be paying six pounds which is fine until your student id expires so after your two years of study before you start paying the normal rate which is fine. i think i need to do a video about all those discounts because we have a lot of sites that students can get discounts then again i'll talk about clothing you need to wear clothes you have children you need to buy and i don't know who brought that in a lot of people told me before coming that i should not come with clothes i don't need clothes oh my when i need clothes so there are some of your clothes in nigeria even when i came here like you go to church i've been to redeem people are wearing their normal clothes i dashed all my clothes out thinking i don't need them only to come here and see people wearing on thanksgiving service they are wearing serious lace like dying head and then you feel left out because you've dashed all your clothes out please if you have space carry your clothes please oh, let me tell you people i don't want you to come out so far we are so free so we're buying clothes are fresh some of your clothes like during the summer you can wear them it's just that when you come during the winter because by september by then the summer is already going and then we're going towards winter so that time you need cold like you need um jackets and all that even your jackets if you don't have money to afford because one here can be 50 pounds go and buy them in nigeria before coming with it like come with them you can go to all those bill markets and get thick thick ones 
and you can manage them before you start making the pounds. Now, this channel is about helping people. <laughs> then you can save for travel if you want leisure you want the chilling gang you can travel you can save for travel yeah which if you're in your first year or maybe if you have a very good job you save if you think you've not made enough money to start traveling you have plans then you can but you know all work and no play makes jack a door boy <laughs> or makes janet you know girl <laughs> sorry if there's anyone with that name I'm like, and then again I will talk about the main one cancel tax and rent now your rent is very important you've already known your rent before coming into the house so let me say your rent is 400 a month or 450 a month 500 a month now cancel tax and that one they pay me pass like wait i don't want you guys to make this mistake because now i have to pay it now students don't pay cancel tax so when you come please you know, don't make mistake oh make sure you watch this video very well oh so when you come, the council tax, the student should register. Make sure the dependent name is not on the list. So only the student registers and make sure that only the student, like your name is, your, is only your name that is on the list. Then you go on the council website and register. You're supposed to download your exemption letter from your school site. You go to the school site and download the exemption letter and upload it on the council. Like, don't wait for council to send you mail. That was the mistake I did. I had to wait. I wait. I didn't know, so I waited. Council sent me mail. Sent me a mail, a bill of one thousand six hundred pounds. <laughs> um, now, because my husband's his name was not even on the list, but because my landlord lives upstairs, I decided to give the council my husband's name. Now we have to pay because. I'm a student so and if the council knows that your dependent lives in the property you're going to pay 75% of that money so that's what is happening but if they don't know you quickly register and do everything you're not paying shimpa you're not paying anything they will just waive all that money for you for the two years you will leave you will not pay council tax but if you make a mistake and you don't register early and council tax the council gets to send you that mail and they know that you are living with your dependent on that property. We are just not lucky that because our landlord was living with like his upstairs and where down. So they got to know and when they sent him a mail, he wrote all our names down inside the form. And so they know that I'm living with my husband. So there's no way I can lie. I don't want you guys to fall victim to this. Please, this is very important. I don't want you guys because paying 1000 even if it's 1000 that means you pay it in like, it's one year, sorry, 1600 for one year. So they will split it. So now they will discount it and then maybe we pay 75% of the money of which we pay in every month. So every month when I pay 120 it's big money that we do not plan for. Now your rent, our rent will now be going up again because the council tax is now inside. I beg, Edjo, you guys should just put these things in place. Thank God you have someone like me giving you guys information <laughs> so that you don't make the mistake. Huh? <laughs> guys, thank you for watching this video. Please, if you've been watching this video and you've not liked, you've not commented, you've not... Like, guys, let's gather downstairs. Let's gather in the comment section there. Eh? I miss you guys. Like, I miss you guys plenty. And I hope to see you guys next time. And please, if there's anything, just chat me. Because I know I have mailed, I have mailed, I have responded to a lot of people. And I'm so happy that this video has really been helpful. Like, my videos have been helping people. I just, I'm just so excited. Like, people have even given emails to my agent's yeah, number. Some of them have gotten admission. Some of them, like... I'm so excited that this channel is doing, living its purpose. Like, we are, <laughs> may God Almighty continue to grow us in Jesus' name. We shall move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. And see you guys. Much love from Harriet. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.